What's up, guys? This is Matt Atkinson from MJ Real Estate coming at you from my office at almost 4 o'clock on Friday. I want to send this out to you today because I've had five phone conversations with real estate investors this week about 1031 exchanges, and it's a very common topic that a lot of people are talking to me as uh, I'm building up my portfolio. Why I wanted to share this with you is there's right now is a great time for you to invest in your future with real estate. I want to give you a very simple example about rolling up. In this example that I talked to an investor that I got an email today about a property they own in New York City, uh, if they bought, just to give this an example for Utah, if you bought a property in 2005 for $120,000, you put 20% down, okay? You have a loan amount at uh, $96,000 of 5%. I just checked out what an amortization schedule would be if you haven't refinanced it's basically eighty thousand dollars. It's a little more, like eighty thousand five hundred. But for the sake of this example, it's eighty thousand dollars. The reason why I'm bringing that up is up front, you invested twenty four k. Okay, your initial investment. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is let's assume you bought a property ten years ago, and your rent you break even with rent and you break even with um, cash flow because of improvements, okay? Just for the sake of this example. Why I'm sharing this though is in 2015, as I looked at what values are up from 2005, we just have a small increase because the market went up, the market went down, back, we're, we're back up again. This is if you totally just bought retail, no deal, okay? So if you sold it for 150,000, 10% for seller pay closing costs, concessions, real estate, you're gonna net 135 for this example. Now, why I'm bringing this up is you have 55K that you roll up. If you take into consideration your cash on cash investment, you doubled your $24,000 in 10 years more, because it'd be 48,000, 50%. So that's 100% appreciation, or excuse me, 100% cash on cash return divided by 10 years is like 11%, okay? But why I'm sharing this with you is a lot of people are like sitting on their thumbs waiting for I don't know what to own real estate. If you just buy one, sit on it, manage it, be effective, do your books correct, 1031 is an awesome strategy for you to not pay tax or have it be deferred. So why I'm bringing this up to you is knowledge is, in, is power. When I first started buying properties 10 years ago, no one talked to me about this. So it's important for you to take into consideration how you're going to build up your portfolio for retirement. With one of the conversations I was talking to a tax preparer, the investor bought a property, used a 1031 facilitator, did it incorrectly. They did not do it correct. They bought a property that was less of value than what they were selling. So it's really important for you to have the right team and for you to learn and take knowledge with this. So with MJ Real Estate, want to help you build your portfolio to retire, obviously, Knowledge is power, that's why people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to become doctors and potentially lawyers and other things for college. I just want you guys to buy one rental property, work with me for a year, work with me for 10 years and see how much better off you are. So if you're looking to just save money or you're looking to buy a, your first property or you got money burning hole in your pocket and you're like, I wanna spread my wealth out to leverage, it's important for you to know the end goal when you buy. So why I'm sharing this is you need to take into consideration 10 years out planning. I didn't plan 10 years ago, so I'm sharing this with you now. It's really important to plan. So back to this example, you bought a property, $24,000 into it. You didn't break, you didn't cash flow anything for the sake of the example. You sell it now, you net 55, you do a 1031. What do you do with that money? Buy like properties, buy a duplex. Buy a fourplex. Do a lot of stuff. Just do something. Look forward to having you guys participate more and have you guys have a great weekend. Thanks.